Dumisile Nala, Chief Executive Office of Childline South Africa, joins us via video link to weigh in on that matter further. Dumisile, good afternoon and thank you for joining us here on the SABC at the Sawa. Good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity. It's been almost two weeks now since Jocelyn disappeared. And so we're looking at the dynamics, the search and rescue operations obviously also underway. What are you observing on that front in relation to this case? Also, perhaps politicians hijacking the issue for politicking at large. Talk us through what you what you are um, observing um, as we speak. I think it is important to really express our concern uh, in terms of the missing child and that we pray for the safe return of Jocelyn to her family and friends. I think when a child or a young person goes missing, it really sends shock waves throughout the family, the community and the society at large. I think for us as an, as an organization, the focus really should be on the child and supporting the family. Uh, when political matters come into play, I think it just um, disrupts the whole uh, situation and other elements take priority rather than focusing on the needs and the search for the child. Thank you for those opening sentiments. Perhaps now that we've seen police top brass also, you know, being part of this case, where we know not all these cases obviously make the news. Do you think that this is now going to intensify the speed and the pace of the investigations and the outcomes at large? We certainly hope so. And from what we've seen in the past and from what research tells us, the earlier the better really because the tracks are newer and people's memories are newer in terms of what they have seen. So from our point of view, when a child is missing, the agency must be seen right from the beginning so that the search is wider and people are also alert at a much earlier stage. But we certainly hope that now senior authorities have gotten involved, the search will intensify and that there will be a positive outcome in this situation. Dumisile, perhaps you could speak to the processes undertaken by the SAPS in relation to missing children. Um, what are some of the challenges that they also encounter? Just, just as we look at the reality of the operations on the ground, and if we're going to look at the role in reporting missing children as well, what are some of the concerns that you're witnessing in South African context at this point? I think we do need to acknowledge the positive changes because you would know in the past if someone was missing, one had to wait for a particular period before action was taken or before the report it was received. But now, and we do hope our communities know very well that if a child has gone missing, it must be reported immediately and action has to be taken immediately. What I would like to stress, though, from our point of view is that even if um, the police get involved, they need support from communities on the ground. Because I think from just on a general point of view, one would believe that someone somewhere knows what has gone on. And that information is crucial even to be given to the police so that they follow those leads to assist in this regard and ensure a safe return of Jocelyn. Um, just as we look at the stats on the ground with regards to missing children and um, what's reflected in South African context, what percentage is found, what percentage are found deceased? Perhaps you could paint that picture for us. We're also looking at the role of the community, which you alluded to, the role of communication, the role of media at large. What's coming to the fore? Thank you for that. Um, from our point of view as Childline, um, we do note that some of the instances are not well reported. So when we look at our numbers in terms of missing children, maybe the picture is not very clear. But what we hear on the news and when we engage with communities, we certainly notice that 
there seems to be an increase in terms of children going missing and they tend to be missing for a number of reasons um, for trafficking purposes uh, and when they are trafficked they are used for a number of reasons be it domestic work or even for sexual exploitation in some instances so that is concerning and again we really need to stress as i've said that communities or someone somewhere knows what has gone on. So it is really our collective responsibility to ensure the safety of children and report uh, when we've encountered or even suspect that something is not going accordingly for that particular child. Domicilia, just as we wrap up, um, you alluded to this you know, questions about the number of missing um, children in South Africa now of major concern. And, you know, you also touched on why children are kidnapped. Um, I just wonder, in regard, with regards to this case, um, if we know the whereabouts of the mother's boyfriend, if there's any other further information that can be divulged to, you know, just assist, assist them in, in the search and, and rescue operation. Uh, unfortunately, from our side, we do not know the details of the case, um, so I'm not able to divulge any knowledge or any information as we do not have such information as an organization. Um, we are really also uh, experiencing this as the community at large is experiencing it.